Hi guys, this is Hassan and you're watching Animal Wonders. Today we're gonna answer three questions about dogs. Do dogs sweat? If your answer is yes, so why we don't see them sweating as other animals such as horses? If your answer is no, so where does that characteristic smell come from? All of that coming up in a second. I promise you, by the end of this video, you will know the answer to those questions and you will never forget it. Sweat comes from sweat glands and sweat glands are part of our skin. We humans and dogs have two kinds of sweat glands. One called eccrine and one, one, one called epocrine. So the whole answer to our questions are in those two words. Epocrine. Crine means hair. Epocrine means near the hair or attached to the hair. Acrine is away from the hair or far from the hair. There is no more technical words or medical. This is just the two words, epocrine and acrine. So the epocrine sweat gland is attached to the hair. So wherever there is hair in, on your body or on your dog's body, there is epocrine sweat gland. So that's the more common sweat gland in dogs and less common in humans because they have more hair covering their bodies than we do. The second kind, the eccrine sweat gland is not attached to the hair. Actually, it is away from the hair. So it will be on those parts of your body and your dog's body where there is no hair. So and that makes all the difference because they make the visible kind of sweat. So, and that answers our second question, which is why we don't see dogs sweat as other animals, like the horses. The last point about the eccrine sweat glands, they are majorly present on dogs' nose and their paws. And these are the two areas where you will see visible sweat in dogs. And that takes us to our last and third question, which is where does that characteristic smell of dogs come from? We're not talking about a bad odor. We're not talking about a bad smell. We're talking about the characteristic smell of dogs. Where does it come from? Actually, there is two medical opinions here. The first one, those epocrine sweat glands, which are attached to the hair, as we said before. They produce a chemical substance, which is known as pheromones. And they are responsible for that characteristic smell and they are responsible for what is called dog scent and that's how dogs identify each other through that scent and under certain emotions such as pain and excitement the production of that substance is increased and that's when we can smell it as humans and in my personal experience, when water touch that substance, that's when you really can smell that characteristic smell. And that's what some people call wet dog smell. The second medical opinion here says that bacteria reacts to that sweat or to that substance produced or, feed or feeds on it. And the characteristic smell is a result of this reaction. In my personal experience, the, the smell produced by the first opinion is different than the smell produced by the second opinion. And my advice here to you is, if your dog smell really bad and you see any changes on his skin, go ahead and call your vet to see, to check what's wrong, what's going on with your dog. So these were the answers for the three questions. I hope you find this video useful to you. Uh, if it was useful, if it was helpful in any way, please give us the thumbs up so others can discover this content on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions or any points you want us to comment on or explain, please leave them in the comment below or tweet us on Twitter. Thank you for watching and see you next week. 